carpentry, plumbing, bricklaying. Trades are kind of cool and they're cool to learn. And more. Every trade is represented at the biggest skilled trades competition in the country. We'll have about 2,400 uh, kids and young adults uh, competing uh, in skilled trades and technology career opportunities. Important because for youth, those opportunities are not always recognized. I feel like there's going to be a, a shortage just because there's going to be less people going into it. And this is much more than just a fun experience for these kids. Industry insiders are hoping awareness will help overcome labor shortages that have plagued the trades in Canada for years. There's a huge shortage in skilled trades right now, and with demographics, we're going to see more people leaving the workforce than entering it, so there's lots of opportunities. I think we still have an image problem uh, about skilled trades, so we're trying to demonstrate that these are first choice careers, uh, pay well, uh, you're going to have a passion for it, you're going to have a career that are, opens the doors to a whole lot of opportunities, and what we're also trying to do is get more parents out to understand what these opportunities are, so they don't discourage their kids from considering a trade. And they say it's a shift that has to happen now. The Ontario Chamber, the Board of Trade, the Conference Board, they've all issued uh, reports saying that we're going to be short about 250,000 workers by the late 20, uh, 20s and we need to address that. So it's uh, not a new issue uh, but it's one that's been festering for quite a while. So our goal is to make sure young people understand what the opportunities are and give them an opportunity to try one and see what they can do with their lives if this is an interest to them. And it seems, for some at least, the focus is shifting. It's really fun to try to see what you'd like later on. Do you feel like coming here is opening your eyes to future careers that you hadn't thought of? Yeah. Then we know what, how it feels like and if we want to work as it or not. And that exposure is the ultimate goal. We survey the kids and 91 to 95 percent say that uh, having experienced this, seen what this is all about, they're more inclined and more interested to try something as they uh, pursue their, their career. Well, this competition will continue for the next two days. Gold medalists will have the chance to go on to represent Ontario at the National Skills Canada competition. In Etobicoke, Audra Brown, City News.